So I want you to take your fist, just let the fish bite you. Okay. And just so you get a grasp and understanding how powerful this big of a fish could be. Okay. If it's as big as it sounds like, it, it, it really sounds powerful. I okay. mean, it, it sounds like a really, like a 40 plus pound fish. They're in there. They're, they can be dangerous at okay. this point, okay? Yep. This is where you graduate from, okay, they're powerful to, oh wow. They, they actually, if they roll on you, they, they could really do some damage. Okay. So, okay, here we go. It's being very careful. I'm a little nervous. When Will is like, yeah, this is a big fish, you could do some damage, definitely makes you nervous. Okay. Yep. All right, guys, here we go. <clears throat> Time to get eaten alive by a catfish. Holy crap. What did he bite you? Oh my God. He almost broke you? my wrist. He had my whole my whole hand in his mouth. Fish almost broke my wrist for sure. Holy cow, that hurt. Hold on a second. You want an arm sleeve now? What? You want an arm sleeve now? Uh, no, no, no. Sure? Oh man, dude, that fish is definitely strong enough to break your wrist. He almost broke my wrist. Like crushing the bone. Holy cow, I don't know if I should stick my arm back in there. Hold on a second, I wanna make sure he didn't break my wrist. Hold on, let me. Mm, they're not. Mm. Hey, you're gonna have gouges in your arm. I'll tell you that. They bite you through that glove. Dude, he got right. Look at that. Look at look how red my arm mm -hmm. is. Look at that. He's drawing blood all already. All the way through. Mm -hmm. He's drawing blood already. Yep. That's normal for a blue cat. Okay. That's a male. So you now you know what it's like, right? Yeah. So you know what it feels like. Yep. It hurts. Okay. And so now we don't want the fish to bite you any more than he has to, right? Okay. Stick your hand in there, just like you have Flat? Been. Yep. No, you, you do any of this, and he grabs one finger, and he'll, he'll break it, I promise. I'm afraid he's gonna break my hand and my wrist the way that he well, is. Well, you can take your fist and keep it together, but as soon as he bites you, you need to pin his I mouth. Think, I think if I keep a fist and then I put my- You need to pin him and work your finger to the outside lower jaw of his mouth. Okay. Hold him forward and come back up for air and hold him. Okay. Now, if he bites you over your thumb, yeah. you need to come out and reset. You gotta, you gotta pin him. And then it's hard, man. Okay, okay. Really hard to hold these fish. And they're slimy, they're powerful, and they're mean, and they're they're really angry right now, you know? It's, uh, it's hard to describe to you guys the amount of power. Like, I thought that fish was gonna break my hand off. I, we're not gonna lose fish, I promise. Okay. I will put my hand in. I'm worried about losing my hand, not the fish. Like, I'm afraid if I don't have two hands in his mouth, he's gonna, he's gonna break my wrist. If he rolls, he might, yeah. Okay. You gotta let him go. If he rolls, he might. If he, he rolls, you gotta let him go. Holy cow, all right, I, I'm, going, I'm going back down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this another another shot. I'm, I'm really nervous I've right always now. I'm not said this. This is the most fun you can ever have on two feet. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. okay. You hear that deep thump? I hope that's on. Mm. Okay, I think it's you on. You hear that front. deep thump? Yeah. Oh, man, he's mm. a deep, deep thump. He's a good fish. Okay. He's up near the front of the box. He's gonna get me this time. He probably will. Okay. Oh, man, dude, I'm, I'm so nervous going down there that like every time I turn that he's gonna get me and I was afraid he's gonna break my wrist. He's that big. All right, let's try one more time. Get him, Kyle. If there's somebody gonna get him, it's you. Uh, I know, you I know. Me? Here we go. Oh, oh! Oh, I got him. Hold on, then. I've got him. Oh, my God. Hold on, then. I got him. I got calm him. Calm down first. You gotta calm down. Because if you don't calm down, you will not get this fish. Okay. I'm there. I got, I got my fingers locked in his jaw. Hang on. He's gonna break my hand. No, he ain't gonna break me. Okay. Four. Oh, he's making a fish. He's crushing my hand. Go over his way. Okay. Go over his way. You want to put my other hand in his mouth? Yeah, hang on. Easy mouth. I'm gonna stay. Easy mouth. He's huge, dude. He's huge. Easy, easy, not fast. 
Not fast. Hang on, he's got his tail out. Let's see. Let me grab his tail. Holy mackerel. Oh. Holy cow. Look at the size of that fish. How about that, boy? Holy cow. How about that? That is a huge fish. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. Ah, ah. Oh, he's crushing my hand. Wow, look at the scarring on the top of his head. That's crazy. That is a big fish. That is a huge blue catfish. Nope. The largest catfish species here in North America. You hold tight. I got him, I got you him. You lose that tail, you're gonna lose him. You lose him. I got him, I got him, I got him. You crunch down on him just like you did. You hear me? You yeah. hold the tail? I'll check. Mm. Hold the tail. Let me check the tail. Uh, can you take off my mask? Yep. Oh my goodness. Just when you thought we were not going to catch an enormous catfish. This thing is huge. All right, guys, there you have it. That is a 50 plus pound blue catfish. This is the largest catfish species in the United States. Obviously that distinct bluish coloration is what gives it its name, but these fish are rather ancient. A fish of this size probably takes 30 or 40 years to grow to this massive proportion. If I turn it sideways like this and slightly lift it up, you can see just how long its body is, just under four feet in length. That is what we would consider a true river monster. If I turn it towards you like this, you can see the teeth up on the top jaw. And what they do is they catch their prey and they crush it down with a vice-like grip. That is exactly what my hand felt like inside of its mouth. My hand is on the back side of its gill plate, also known as the operculum. It's not hurting the fish in any way whatsoever. The fish can still breathe. I'm trying to keep it partially submerged. I keep dunking it down just to make sure that it's not getting too much sun. And this is the only way to hold onto one of these fish without a rope. And if you're wondering if my hand hurts right now, it absolutely does. And see how the eyes are set right in front of the skull. They don't have the best eyesight, but this fish is relying on all of its other senses to detect its environment. Now, whether that is to find prey or to avoid predators, the barbels up front are sensory organs that tell them everything about the water. They can pick up vibrations, they can pick up smells, and that is what allows these creatures to be such perfect ambush predators. Now, this is without question a male. The males get bigger than the females, and right now this fish was nestled down in a box getting ready to build its nest. So we're gonna let this fish right back down into the box where we find it, but I would say that this was hugely successful. Will taught me everything that he knows about landing one of these fish, and we could not have hoped for a more perfect specimen. Oh man, catching catfish in Tennessee. So cool, but this is it. The largest catfish species in the United States, the one and only blue. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, Will, time to get this fish back down into its fish hotel. Never in my wildest dreams did I envision catching such a big fish. Anglers go their entire lives hoping to land a beast of that magnitude. Yet most will only ever be able to speak of the big one that got away. All right, guys, here we go. We are releasing the fish back down into its yeah. breeding box. All right, ready, Will? Here yes. we go. One, Sir. two, three. Okay, fish is in. Woo, that was awesome. I consider myself truly blessed to have had a moment in time with that ancient creature. A grandfather to the muddy waters of the Tennessee River and the legend of a truthful tale I will one day be able to share with my own grandkids. And if you're a huge fan of Brave Wilderness, check out our merchandise at shopbravewilderness.com. You'll find everything from t-shirts, to hoodies, to backpacks, and even my authentic Coyote Peterson hat.